welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about one of my addictions and that is buying luxury designer items, specifically handbags and shoes. With that being said, there are some things that I have bought over the years that I totally regret and there are some things that I absolutely love. So I'm gonna share with you five on each spectrum today. This video is sponsored by The Real Real. I love The Real Real. It's a website and an app where you can buy luxury items on consignment. So they are like up to 90% cheaper than retail price, like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Gucci, every amazing brand. And you can find like some really rare pieces on there. You can just, it's just fun actually to look at their website. So I will have a link down below where you can get $25 off, which is awesome. And a couple of my pieces that I'm gonna share with you guys today, I purchased from The Real Real. It's something I definitely trust. They have a team of experts that authenticate every single item and make sure what you're buying is 100% real. And just a little fun story. Last summer, I filmed a video where I bought a like Fendi bag off of a different website and I didn't know if it was real or not. The Real Real actually helped me to authenticate it and they told me it was not real, it was fake. I know a lot of you guys have asked about that video for like literally the past year. So yeah, I'm gonna share with you guys today some of these items that I should have known when I bought them that I was gonna end up regretting it within like six months. Things just go out of style or just your taste change and stuff. So I've definitely learned along the years what to buy and what not to buy. So I'll share little bits of advice throughout, but let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I make new videos every week on fashion, beauty, mom stuff, literally everything that I'm into. I love talking about health and fitness, so definitely subscribe. And if you already are, turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload. I also have a vlog channel with my husband, Michael, and our son, Julian, if you wanna see more of our daily life. Um, okay. Do I wanna start with the regrets or the things that I love? Also, you guys, bear with me if my allergies are out of control. The cotton in the air and everything right now, it's so bad, but I'm just gonna push on through it. So number one, the item I regret is my Hermes band for my Apple Watch. To be honest, the Apple Watch in general is a regret, but I don't really think that would be considered like a designer item for this video. So we're just gonna talk about the band. Um, I got the Apple Watch and it looked a little bit too masculine on me. I thought it looked a little bit too sporty for my taste. So I thought I would do the Hermes band and kind of give it more of a feminine look. Uh, it's just, it's just not my style. Honestly, that's what it is. I think it's really beautiful. It's really nice quality. The leather, I love the color, but it's just not my style. It's just a little too, um... I don't know, like I would never really wear like a leather bracelet like this. So I don't know why I thought I would wear like a leather watch like this. It's just not my look. Now, I would probably honestly wear this more if it was like a gold band that looked like a typical watch band because I love the way a regular watch looks. But it's just something about the Apple Watch. Just first of all, I didn't like the way it looked on me in general. And then I thought this would like jazz it up a bit. But I don't know, it doesn't. And it's just something I forget to turn on. I hate having to charge it every day. So I wore this a few times right when I first got the band for it and it's really cool. It's just not my style. And I think that's something that I've learned throughout the years is like even though maybe people on Instagram or YouTube can make things look really cool or even if something is really hyped up right now, if it's not your style and you won't wear it, it's not gonna be worth the money. That's kind of what it looks like on. It is really pretty. And maybe now that I pulled it out, I'll try to wear it more often because I obviously, you know, I have it and it's mine now, but I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't ever make my outfit look any better. And that's what the point of these accessories are supposed to be. So yeah, big waste of money over here. I don't remember how much this was because I bought it um, a couple of years ago, maybe around the $600 mark. I will put the price right here, but it definitely was not cheap. I think I'm gonna stick with talking about my regrets. So we'll do all five regrets and then we'll move into the items that I really love and use all the time. So the next regret, I should have known I was not gonna get my use out of these. These were not gonna be worth the money. They're not even something that I just don't like anymore. They're just something that no matter if I loved them to pieces, I was not gonna get enough wear out of these where I should have known they weren't worth the money. 
and that's something that I really take a lot of pride in is I feel like I spend a lot of time like going back and forth on items, making sure it would fit into my lifestyle, things I would wear all the time. And I did not take my own advice on these shoes. So these are them. Gucci hot pink fuchsia mules with this random fluff and fringe on the front. Honestly, I think they're really cute. Like I still, when I look at them in the viewfinder here, I still think they're really cute. I love pink. And I think this is like the perfect pink. I love that kind of like suede material. I love the G. I love the height of the heel. They're super comfortable. Like no complaints on that. It's just realistically, I am a mom living in Michigan where it's cold most of the year. Where am I going to wear these? Where am I going to wear hot pink velvet or suede pumps? nowhere like i literally wear these maybe once or twice a year i'm that's exaggerating i've maybe worn them once or twice since i've had them they're like pretty much brand new on the bottom like there's a little scuff this is honestly i can remember wearing them one time and i took a photo in it and i can't remember wearing them any other time besides that one time so the reason why I think I don't get as much wear out of these as I want to is number one, I don't wear high heels as often as maybe you might think. It's really few and far between. Day to day, I'm wearing flats and I love flats. It's just easy for me and my lifestyle. So that's number one. Number two is I just don't think they're as flattering on my feet and on my like ankles and legs as a lot of the shoes that I already had in my wardrobe and that I wear all the time. So I actually like, when I'm getting ready for the day, I don't know if you guys do this, but I like put one shoe on one foot and then one shoe on the other foot and then just pick which one I think looks better. And I try this on all the time and then I end up always picking something else. I just feel like I just have a lot of other things that flatter my legs and feet better. I think it's because this part right here is just so chunky that it can kind of cut you off and make your legs look a little bit shorter. Item number three might come as a big surprise to you guys because I actually shared this exact item in a video about a year and a half ago and I said it was just a great investment and that it's a great way to kind of start your designer collection and Although I still stand by that, I do. It's just, I've fallen out of love with this item and that is the Gucci belts. And I don't know what it is because at first I was thinking, you know, they've just become so popular. Everywhere you go, you see women and girls wearing Gucci belts like this. And so I was like, maybe that's just why I don't like it anymore. It just doesn't feel as unique. And I think that is part of the reason, like it just doesn't feel as special when I wear it or as different. And you know, I like to, I love fashion, I love style, and I don't always want to like look like everyone else. I want to look like me and look unique. And so I thought this was a great like timeless piece. And I still think it is. It's just not something that sparks joy <laughs> for me. Like I just don't look at it and think like, that's the most beautiful belt I've ever seen. And I used to look at it and think that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it just because they're so popular now? And I, like when I go out to dinner or go out to the mall, like I see so many girls wearing the same belt that it's just not something that I look at. And I'm like, wow, that is such a cool belt. You know what I mean? Um, but then there are other items that I have that are like that, like such as like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. Whenever I'm out and about, I see so many women with that bag and I still love that bag and I don't have those feelings towards that bag. But maybe that's just because it's a great like essential bag for me that I use almost every day and a belt I don't typically wear every day. But yeah, this is an item that I just have fallen out of love with and it could even be just because of the style. Like I feel like thinner, sleeker belts are in style right now. So I think this was $350. So it wasn't the most outrageous item in terms of prices and I did get a lot of wear out of it. Sorry, Colby. <laughs> but yeah, it's just not my favorite anymore. Last regret. Actually, I only had four, I thought I had five, but I only have four items that I'm gonna share today. And this is another one that might come as a surprise. And oh, I have like mixed feelings on this bag too. And I don't want to feel that way about anything that I have, you know, spent my hard earned money on. I just wanna be super in love with it. And like I said, like sparking joy, like seriously, I feel like that is really true. Like all of your items or all of your things should really spark joy, except for like things like your you know, your toothbrush and like your cleaning supplies, like stuff like that. But like your fashion items especially should be things that you just look at and love. And 
this bag just doesn't do it for me anymore and I am so sad about it for a couple different reasons. So this is the Dior, Dior Ever bag. It's a really beautiful bag. It just, it's just nothing like super fun to me and I think it's a little too grown up for my style. So like I said, most days I'm wearing jeans, like today I'm wearing jean shorts. This is not gonna go with this outfit. Like it's just too, too grown up for me and I like something a little bit more fun. So I have found another nude bag that I think is still classic and timeless but a little bit more fun that I'll share with you guys and my things that I'm loving. But yeah, I've just fallen out of love with it. I bought it in Italy, in Rome. Michael and I went there for two weeks and it was like such a nice vacation so I feel like this is sentimental to me in that way but also it's just a handbag so I might actually sell it to the real real you guys can sell your gently used items to them and get money for it and they can actually have someone come out to your house it's like white glove service and check and authenticate the bag or you can send it back to them and they can check so it's a really cool service and a great way to kind of get some money for the items that you're no longer loving but it's it's just not it just doesn't spark joy for me anymore. So those are all the items that I'm not super loving, the items that I regret. Now let's move on to the items that I am totally obsessed with. We will start with my newest edition and that is ah, the Chanel Jumbo in Nude. I bought this on the Real Real. When did I buy this? Maybe a month ago. So I've only had it for a month. It's brand new. Isn't this the most beautiful bag you've ever seen? Like you cannot tell me when you see these two nude bags. Like this is just so much cuter. This is so cute. And I feel like that's what it's all about. It's like having items that fit into your lifestyle and fit into your style and your fashion sense and that you can wear every day. And this is a handbag that I feel like can be warm with this outfit like i think this is so cute with this outfit it adds a pop of girly and feminine and classic but this also looks really good with like an outfit if you're going to the office it looks good for date night it looks good with like literally any outfit i've been wanting another nude bag for a while because i just wasn't in love with that one and i've had my eye on this for years this was like the classic bag for me the one that i've wanted forever so i'm very impressed with it i got um just a it looks brand new you guys like when it came it came with the dust bag and it came with like the authenticity card like i said i bought it on the real real i cannot recommend them enough it's like it's honestly the only place i really shop for bags anymore because i just feel like why not get a little bit of a better deal and it's so much easier and i just like it so i'm obsessed I love it. It fits so much. I got it in the caviar leather, so it's a little bit more durable. Um, but I do like the lambskin leather too. And I think especially with the nude, lambskin would have looked really pretty. But I just thought I, this is something that I wanted to keep forever and ever and pass down to maybe if I have a daughter or a niece or something one day when I don't wear it anymore. I just thought like that's what I would like to do with like all these things. I'd like have them to be able to pass down one day. So I just thought the classic caviar would last a lot longer and then the gold hardware it's super pretty i'm obsessed with this bag totally different end of the spectrum but i honestly love these items just as much and that is and i don't even know if these count as like designer but i just thought i would include them because i actually get a lot of questions my yeezys i'm not going to touch the bottom but i have them in this gray and white color. I don't know the exact names of them, but I had them in this gray and white color, and I also had them in the plain white. I am obsessed with these tennis shoes. First of all, they are like the most comfortable tennis shoes I own. I wear them just for like a cute outfit, but I also have worn them to work out. I've worn them to go on walks. I've worn them to Disney World. I just think there's something about them that kind of has that like futuristic look. Like I just like shoes that have different shapes to them and just kind of like make your feet and your ankles look really good and i just think that these do and i think they're really cool i know that kind of everyone has like this love hate they either really love them or they just don't understand it and i understand it and i love it and i think they're really cool so believe it or not mike when i actually have these matching he has the exact same pair he has two pairs too we're both obsessed with them they can just be dressed up or dressed down and i just think they make any outfit look like kind of street style and fun 
and really fresh and they're super comfortable which is definitely something I can get behind like I said I wear flats every day so something like this even with that leisure and like leggings and a t-shirt it's so cute so this next item I also bought from the real real when did I buy this almost a year ago I think I bought it early last fall when I did my first ever video with them you guys I've been working with the real real yeah I think since last fall and I love their company. I love that I can just fully trust and know that the items I'm buying are totally authentic. So I had my eye on this Louis Vuitton duffel for years, but I had gone back and forth because I've heard people say like it can get too heavy and it's hard because there's no wheels and blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, I just don't know. So I tried it on multiple times and then on the real real, it is so much more affordable. So if you want this bag, do not even like flinch i would definitely go to the real real it's it, they're still in great condition so i bought this one for a great price i use this bag so much that i'm actually surprised how much i use it so if you guys didn't know i own a clothing line called good to be and we do photo shoots every month so i will like pack everything in this bag when we're like moving to different locations for the shoot i use this every time we travel for all of julian's toys and diapers and stuff like that or like literally anything, if we're doing like a quick overnight trip, I'll pack all of our stuff in here. Or if we're going, you know, it's somewhere where we're going for the full day and I need to pack Julian stuff, my stuff, whatever. Anytime where I need to bring stuff that doesn't quite fit in a handbag, this is like the chicest way to bring all of your stuff. And I've never had a problem with it being too heavy. So it was actually funny. I wore this in the airport. You guys, we looked hilarious when we flew to Hawaii. So I had the stroller with Julian in it. I had this huge bag. I had my Neverfull. Michael had his huge backpack. He had our humongous car seat. And we were just like walking through all the airports and we looked hilarious with all the stuff that we had, but I was never uncomfortable. I was never like exhausted. This was totally manageable for me. It's really comfortable because it has like this little grippy kind of like padded thing that hits right on your shoulder. So nothing digs into your shoulder and this thing was loaded up. Sorry, FedEx dropped off an Amazon package. Next up, I absolutely love the Gucci Princetown loafers. I have three pairs and they honestly get pretty much equal wear. It's something that I wear on a weekly basis and that I love and I would totally recommend to anyone. Like I would repurchase these if anything happened to them. I love them. So I first bought this pink pair and when I first got them, I think I only wore them like here and there, but they're just the perfect summer shoe. So they're pink and they have like this really cute little floral pattern on them, super comfortable. And that's kind of when I fell in love with this style of shoe because I just thought it was similar to the Yeezy and not that they're similar in style, but similar in that you can really dress them up or down and wear them a bunch of different ways depending on what color you have. So. I got this pink color first and I think it's really unique and different. It looks cute with dresses, shorts, jeans, whatever. And then when I was pregnant, I wanted to kind of like splurge and treat myself to another pair since I was really just wearing like athleisure and flats all the time. And these were perfect. I absolutely love these for the fall winter time. I'm kind of weird and I don't like to wear black shoes unless it's fall and winter. I don't know why, I just feel like they only go good with dark colored jeans or like dark colored pants, like gray or black. So typically in the spring and summer, I wear white or blue, so I feel like these don't go. But I love these for the fall and winter. They are the ones that have a little fur on the inside. They are so comfortable, so cozy. They keep your feet warm. I mean, I have really gotten my wear out of these. I just think they're super classic. Probably if I were to buy them again, I would not get the ones with the fur inside just because I know that that will probably go out of style within the next few years. I would have just gotten the regular ones without it, but I actually still really like the fur. I feel like it's just cozy and it looks really cute in the winter time. My all time favorite ones are the white ones. I bought those maybe a year ago i think i bought them last summer and i actually left them in florida i don't know how i did that but i've been so upset because i haven't been able to wear them in like a month and i'm so glad we're going back in a couple weeks so i can get them and bring them back home with me but the white leather they're just perfect i think they are so chic and pretty and 
just perfect for spring and summer. So I'll insert her pictures here so you guys can see what they look like on, but I absolutely love them. I love when they get worn in. I love when they look like they've been lived in. They're just really beautifully made shoes that are super comfortable and I love them. Okay, and my last item is something that I actually have not shared on my channel really yet, but I think a couple of you guys have seen it on Instagram. I bought this back in the winter time. Um, I bought it from a friend of mine. She wasn't using it anymore. And I was like, I would use that. And I have been searching for one of those. And that is this beautiful Chanel backpack. I've been wanting a designer backpack for a while. I just think they are so cute and fun, especially like as a diaper bag or for mom life, it's like hands-free. So I was super excited to get my hands on this one. Um, I, forgot, I forget the name of it. I want to say it's Urban Spirits, but I could be just totally wrong. I'm totally making that up right now. But mine is in the black lambskin leather which i really love the lambskin leather it definitely is a lot more delicate but i just think it looks so like buttery and soft and it has kind of like the titanium kind of gunmetal colored hardware and it's just like the cutest backpack so this will fit diapers wipes snacks phone lip gloss like if it's everything it's a great size and i absolutely love this bag i think it's so cool to get a classic brand like Chanel, but in a really unique kind of edgy piece like a backpack. I just think like together, it's just a really cool combo. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on new videos. Click that bell notification. I will be doing a Louis Vuitton giveaway when I hit 900K. I love doing that for you guys. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that if you love designer items. Thanks so much to The Real Real for sponsoring today's video. Again, I will have that link down below so you guys can get $25 off. Off. It's a great consignment marketplace app website and I totally 100% recommend it to you guys I really trust their site. So also if you haven't been they have a really cute store in New York and that Is so fun to walk around in it's in Soho and I think they have one in LA now, too So yeah, but that's all on their website. You guys can check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye